What is good, families? Today, I got to bring my truck in for the last PM. I did not want to catch an Uber. I felt like today was the perfect day for me to bring out this Euro scooter. I bought this at the match trucking event. I was riding around there on the scooter. But I'm about to put this in the back of the, the truck, take this thing down. The rider is literally down the street from my house. Throw this thing up on the lift gate, tie it down to the back, and hopefully it doesn't rain on me on the way back to the crib. This is what it is. This is what we doing out here today, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's eat, baby. Right now, I would tell that person, invest in your personal development early, early on in life. Like it's never too late to start anything. Invest in yourself early. Don't be afraid to try something new. If it doesn't work out, if you do it long enough and it doesn't work out, after you're giving it all you've got, try something else. Just because you stop doing one thing doesn't mean you failed. Failing is actually a learning lesson. Failing is learning. Fail forward. You know what's so funny? When I started this business, when I got in the trucking industry over three years ago now, they told me it was saturated. They were saying it's, it's saturated. Three years later, guess what they're saying? Three years later, guess what they're still saying? It's saturated. Now, I might be saturated in your area, in your local area. You feel like it's saturated because you see a, lot, a mass amount of people doing it, or you may see rates looking crazy right now. In my, in my humble opinion, I'm still seeing people get started in this business. I'm still seeing people go out and buy trucks. I'm still seeing people that when they get really active, right, and not just relying on one source of income, not just relying on one company to pay their bills, creating multiple sources with their vehicles, they do pretty good. Those are the people that are still thriving. So I got a question for people that are looking at the business. If, you, if you're looking at the business, what do you feel is the, what's the one thing that's holding you back? What's the one thing that's holding you back from taking the action or taking the steps that you need to move forward in starting your business? What are the negatives that you have heard or that you've seen that's holding you back from actually pulling the trigger and potentially changing your life. What are those things? Like, what are those few things, whatever whatever it is, or what is that one thing that's holding you back? Fear is always one of them. Fear is always one of those dream killers. I started so many different businesses that I wasn't scared. I was like, okay, what's the worst that can happen if I start this business? So at that time, three years ago, the worst, the worst thing that could happen for me was I didn't make any money and I ended up on Navy $13,500. <laughs> that was the worst thing. But I knew if I took that risk, I was going to have to make it work and figure out ways to create income for that truck and ways to scale up and be able to make that, make that money and be able to pay that loan off and be able to not have you know a lot of expenses at, at that time. Of course, until I scaled up and then I scaled up again. It's always little things that hold people back from changing the trajectory of their lives. And sometimes it don't even be a big thing. It's just that you're, you're scared, you're nervous, or maybe you're hanging around people that never pulled the trigger in their lives. Most people are comfortable in their, in their nine to five situations. Like I'm, I'm not even mad at people. If that's your thing, that's your thing. That puts the food on your table. 
The thing that always bothered me about the nine to five route or working for somebody for 30 years, 40 years, or whatever that retirement age is, let's say 60, 65, like that's, to me, that's crazy. Number one, I'm working for somebody until I'm 65. No, no, that concept is crazy to me. To me, that's a scam. I work for somebody for 65 years. I get that gold watch, I get that turkey, I get a little pension, whatever, whatever they say I can have at that time. And then I get half of what I was making when I was actually able to work a job, which means I probably have to go out and get another job to make up for what I'm not making at retirement, which means I can't really retire or I'm not really retired. Unless you're a military person, somebody like that, that got 100% disability or something like that. Like not. Now, I know these guys get a nice bag. They get a nice bag. You're getting 100%. Shout out to you if you're getting 100%. I know, I know some of y'all 100%ers out there. All right, but let's, let's not talk about military. Let's, I'm not talking about the military guys. So I'm more so just talking about the average person that's, that's working a nine to five. And that's if, that's only if you stay on your job for that amount of years. How many people do you know that are actually, that have actually been at a job that long? I remember seeing a video not too long ago where this guy, it was a truck driver, uh, he was working for a company. You guys probably seen it, the video went viral. Maybe I'll find it, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. But the video went viral. He, he was at that company for years, for years. The company went out of business. He was not able to collect his pension. There was no pension. After devoting his life to that company, for all of those years. That was, that was, that's crazy to me. You have to find something that's gonna be able to set you up for the rest of your life or something that can produce income for you, produce enough income for you that you can take that money that you make and reproduce it. The money that you make, for example, I'm just, let me give you an example. You need to plant seeds with your money. Your money needs to get pregnant. Your money needs to get pregnant so it can create more money for you. So it can just keep spitting out money for you. Your money needs to get pregnant. Your money's money needs to get pregnant and continue to give birth to more income streams for yourself. If I could put it in that, in that, if I, if I can just give you all that perspective right there. Man, a lot of people's lives are changing, y'all. A lot of people just trying to figure out a way to change their lives. A lot of people are tired. A lot of you guys are tired. I see it in the comments all the time. You've been at your nine to five for a long time. And you're like, yo, I'm just ready to do something else. I'm ready for a change. I've been doing this for, for, for forever. I've been working for these people forever. I've been giving my life to this company forever. Now, I'm not by any means telling you to quit your job, but if you're unhappy, with what you're doing. You have to find something else that you can get excited about and do that thing to change your life. Find something you can get excited about. Now, if you're, if you're watching me, then, then it's more than likely that you're interested in potentially pursuing this industry, you know, the trucking industry, or you're, or you're interested in going out and becoming an owner operator, or you're interested and going out and buying you a truck and hiring a driver to put in that truck. You see the potential of what this could possibly do for you. There's no guarantees in life. There's, there's no guarantees in life. What I can say is that if you want something different, you have to do something different. The same thing is going to get you the same thing every time. Doing the same thing is going to get you the same thing, y'all. What's the worst thing that can happen? What's the worst thing that can happen? So all those negative thoughts, if you think negative nine, nine times out of ten, you're going to attract more negativity towards you. Like attracts like. Do something different if you want something different. Y'all, there's, there's so many opportunities out here. There's so many opportunities available to us. Like we're living, a, we're living in a time right now where you can actually create the life that you've always dreamed of living. Like we're living in that time. There's so much information right at our fingertips that if we take advantage of it, it can actually change everything for us like if you're not a techie if you're not you know you don't feel like you you're good on camera there's just all types of ways nowadays to create a different lifestyle for yourself like you literally have no excuse these days and i run into i run into so many of you guys that are on a different path now just from the content that you've watched you know on youtube whether it's my videos or other people's videos like I love, like I love seeing that. I love seeing people that are winning, right? Love people running up, coming up to me saying, yo, bro, you are the reason why I went out and purchased the truck, bro. Why, my, why things is upward for me right now. Bro, I love it. 
<laughs> like I said, y'all, you can be, you can have, you can do. You absolutely can. It's just, it's man, it's so amazing to me. I'm gonna tell you one thing, one thing that 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 hurts me, and I'm I'm still working on this within myself. Like one thing that that hurts me the most is me seeing all of you guys that actually took action. Like I'm excited for all of y'all. You guys took the information, you took action, and you went and made some things happen. But it bothers me when people I know that are super close to me have access to me and I'm giving the game. They seeing what I'm doing, but they just don't want to get up off that A and go out here and make things click and make some things happen. That bothers me. It's like, bro, it's like you see, like y'all seeing what I'm doing. Y'all seeing the opportunities that start presenting themselves when you actually take action. Nothing happens unless you take action. Nothing. Nothing happens unless you take action, y'all. Period. Period. I don't care what nobody tells you. I don't care what nobody is selling, but nothing happens until someone takes action. It'd be crazy to me when I see people and they see what I'm doing, and for me to see them struggling, it bothers me. Like that, 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 that bothers me because I think about it. I'm like, I'd be on an, on an exotic island somewhere and I'd be like, yo, man, I wish, I wish they can be right here where I'm at right now, enjoying, enjoying life and not having to deal with, you know, struggles. I know everybody deals with things like it, money doesn't money doesn't cure everything, you know, but it does make things just just a little more better. You know what I'm saying? It, make, it makes the sun shine a little brighter when you okay on the financial side, you know, or when you have income streams that you created and you have those streams coming in, it makes you feel a little better. Come in this business run it up real hard for six months, a year. Take you a month off. Go to an exotic island. Have some fun. Just imagine. I want you guys to imagine yourselves. Imagine yourself on that exotic island that you know you've been dreaming to go to. Imagine yourself there. I remember I was, uh, I, th I think I told this story one time on here, but I remember when I was watching Jermaine Dupri one time on, on YouTube, on his on his living the life uh, channel, and he was over in Dubai <laughs> on the uh, on the RVs, and I was like, "Yo, that looked amazing! Like that looked fun." They was on matter of fact, they was on the go karts on the sand dunes, and I was like, "Yo, one day I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm gonna go to Dubai. One day I'm going to Dubai." And I did it. I did it. I was able to take my dream vacation. But why was I able to do that? Because I took action. That dream, it, it never died in me. Some of y'all got dreams inside of y'all right now that just that's just sitting there. That's just sitting there. You got a dream right now that's just sitting there. It's sitting dormant. Your dreams are sitting dormant and they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you to take action. Your dream waiting on you. Everything you want is on the other side, y'all. Listen, listen to me. Everything you want is on the other side of action and execution. It's waiting for you to show up. But you probably sitting around like, yeah, one day I'm a one day I'm gonna. One day I'm gonna. You said that five, ten years ago. And you're still saying it right now. Stop playing around. Stop playing around. That dream vacation waiting for you. You wanna hang out. You wanna get high. You wanna roll up. You wanna do everything but take action on your goals and your dreams. Boy, I'm talking to somebody. Some of y'all getting smacked in the head right now. That's that's hitting one of y'all right now. I don't know who it is. But one of y'all sitting back like, bro. Big talking to me right now. I've been playing around with this thing. Let me get serious. Let me get serious. None of us are, are promised tomorrow, but I hope these words resonate in your spirit. I hope something stirs up inside of you to where you get up tomorrow or it clicks, that light clicks on in your head and you say, you know what? I'm tired of playing around with life. Let me get serious. Let me get serious. I'm tired of playing around with this thing. Let me get busy. I've been playing around long enough. Decide what you want. Life is about decisions. Opportunities are not missed. They're just passed along to the next qualified individual. They just pass it along to somebody that's qualified, somebody that's wait. Matter of fact, they, they're not even qualified. You've been coming back around to these videos. You've been circling back around. Like I've been I've been running into people that said, bro, I've been watching you for a year. And I just set up a consultation with you. Like I'm ready now. I'm ready to go ahead and, and, and move forward with this with this thing. So that, that just go, goes to show me how much things in life can just get in the way. And those, those things will make you procrastinate. Those things will make you procrastinate. Like you will want to get started, but life has a way of making you continuously procrastinate. And don't overanalyze this thing. Don't overanalyze it. I know all the personality types. 
I know the greens, the blues, the yellows, and the reds. I know all the personality types. Don't overanalyze this business. Don't be super analytical. You on websites, you looking at what the rates look like. You on websites, you trying to figure out what the market trends are, how much money the trucking industry did last year. Did, did, did it fall off? You got charts on your wall. You, you overanalyzing this thing. I didn't do none of that stuff. I just came in and went to work. It is what it is. I just came in and went to work. Don't overanalyze this thing. It's not, it's not super analytical. You buy a truck, you go make money. Big Vic TV, you ought to know what it is. Always hustle, never stop growing. Till the next video, let's go, let's get it. Let's eat, baby. Mm -hmm.